After the WS-20 landed, the domestic Y-20S have used this advanced large aircraft engine and turned into the Y-20B transport aircraft. So as China's strongest strategic transport aircraft in service, the Y-20B, put in the global view, and belong to what level? In fact, at the beginning of the design, the Y-20 transport aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of 220 tons and 68 tons of load capacity. However, because of the limitation of the aircraft engine, the maximum takeoff weight of Y-20 can only reach 180 to 190 tons, and the cargo load can only reach about 55 tons. The best way for the Y-20 to reach its designed load capacity is to replace the aircraft engine with a more powerful one, the WS-20 so that the Y-20B, after replacing the aircraft engine, can reach a maximum load capacity of 66 to 68 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of 220 tons. In addition to the y 20 a the changes of the Y-20B also include an increase in flight range after the change of the aircraft engine, as well as the strengthening of the fuselage structure and the enhancement of the avionics system. The aircraft engine used in the y 20 a is the Russian-made D-30KP-2 while that of the Y-20B is the Chinese-produced WS-20. The Russian D-30KP-2 has a maximum thrust of 12.5 tons, a culvert ratio of 2.4 and a thrust-to-weight ratio of 4.7. In comparison, the Chinese WS-12 has a maximum thrust of 14 to 16 tons, a culvert ratio of 8 and a thrust-to-weight ratio of 5 or more. It can be seen that the WS-20 has higher performance indicators than the Russian D-30KP-2, especially in terms of culvert ratio. Culvert ratio determines the amount of fuel consumption of an aircraft engine. Under the same technical conditions, the larger the culvert ratio, the greater the thrust can be achieved with less fuel. In other words, the Y-20B with WS-20 can have a longer range with the same fuel consumption than the y 20 a which has a maximum range of less than 8,000 kilometers, but with the new airframe, the y 20 b can reach a range of more than 9,000 kilometers when carrying 30 tons of cargo. If unladen, the y 20 b can reach a maximum range of more than 10,000 kilometers. In terms of structural strength of the airframe, the y 20 b has had its wings reinforced with some wing areas upgraded in thickness. This further enhances the Y-20's load carrying capacity and also improves the Y-20's service life to a certain extent, reducing the frequency of failures. As for avionics, the y 20 as a transport aircraft launched at the beginning of the 21st century, it is only normal that it will be upgraded in terms of avionics when it starts to be improved around 2020. In addition, the WS-20 will also see a significant increase in service life compared to the Russian-made D-30KP-2 aircraft engine. The low service life of the Russian-made aircraft engine is a well-known thing in the international community, and the D-30KP-2, used by China, has a refurbishment life of 2,500 to 3,000 hours, with a total service life of about 9,000 hours, while the refurbishment life of the WS-20 aircraft engine may reach 5,000 to 6,000 hours, with a total service life of about 15,000 hours. And WS-20 also adopts some information technology design. The original Russian D-30KP-2 aircraft engine uses a mechanical hydraulic control system, while the Chinese WS-20 uses full authority digital control. This enhances the simplicity of using the WS-20 and helps to help maintainers as well as Y-20B pilots understand the status of the engine. Overall, the Y-20B transport aircraft using the WS-20 has significantly improved its hard metrics of range and payload, bringing China's transport aircraft up to the world's advanced level. As for the Y-20's position in the international arena, the technology is generally similar to that of the USC-17 but stronger than the Russian IL-76. The U.S. C-17 transport aircraft maximum load of 77 tons, the maximum range of 11,000 kilometers. You can see that the load is important than the Chinese y 20 be larger than about 10 tons. But the fact that the C-17 has a slightly larger payload does not mean that its technical level is higher than that of the Chinese Y-20. The C-17 has a maximum takeoff weight of 280 tons, while the Chinese Y-20B has a maximum takeoff weight of 220 tons. If the Y-20B's volume is increased to 280 tons, 
its maximum payload can also be increased to more than 70 tons. Another interesting statistic is the empty weight. The empty weight of the US C-17 is 125 tons. The empty weight of the Chinese Y-20A is around 84 tons, and the Y-20B is less than 90 tons. In a side-by-side -side comparison, the Y-20B's empty weight is actually more than 30 tons less than that of the USC-17, or even close to 40 tons. Lighter empty weight leads to better flight quality. When transporting 20 to 30 tons of bulk cargo, rather than 60 tons of heavy cargo, the Y-20B is more fuel efficient has a greater range, and has greater takeoff and landing capability. In fact, the U.S. has also thought of building a lighter C-17 transport aircraft that is, the c 17 Fe. The c 17 Fe's maximum takeoff weight was reduced to about 250 tons, and the empty weight was reduced to less than 120 tons, and the overall body weight was reduced a lot compared to the C-17 transport aircraft. However, because of the number of C-17 transport aircraft saturation, coupled with the U.S. military need to use the C-17 to undertake strategic transport tasks, and ultimately the c 17 Fe project was aborted. As for the Russian Il-76, as a transport aircraft in service in the 1970s, this transport aircraft has been in service for half a century and has a very large number of submodels. The most recent, but also the largest and most technologically advanced is the IL-76MF. The IL-76MF has a maximum takeoff weight of 210 tons, a maximum payload of 60 tons, and a maximum range of 9,000 to 10 million kilometers, making it smaller than the Chinese Y-20B and the U.S. C-17 transport aircraft. In terms of positioning, the U.S. C-17 is a transport aircraft that combines both strategic and tactical transport missions while the Chinese Y-20 and Russian Il-76 are transport aircraft that are fully based on tactical transport missions. A transport aircraft is a strategic transport aircraft if it is primarily tasked with transporting more than 50 tons of cargo and can transport an entire main battle tank without dismantling it. If a transport aircraft is normally mainly responsible for the transport of 20 to 40 tons of cargo, does not have the ability to transport main battle tanks, or needs to be dismantled into parts to transport main battle tanks, then it belongs to the tactical transport aircraft. The US C-17 transport aircraft maximum takeoff weight of 280 tons, as well as its ability to directly transport main battle tanks, making it a strategic transport aircraft and tactical transport aircraft between the transport aircraft. So the United States is also directly referred to as strategic and tactical transport aircraft. Simply from the volume, the United States C-17 transport aircraft is naturally the strongest 200-ton transport aircraft. But for a big country, 200-ton transport aircraft transport 20 to 40 tons of weight of the bulk is the norm. C-17 transport aircraft in the transport of 20 to 40 tons of cargo the cost of horizontal comparison will be much higher. So at the technical level, the C-17 and Chinese Y-20B are actually about the same. The Russian Il-76MF, on the other hand, is quite a bit behind the C-17 and Y-20B due to the limitations of the Il-76 as a family in terms of older designs and the level of Russian avionics. Of course, these are all comparisons with the same level of transport aircraft. If you want to say that the comparison of the United States and Russia all active transport aircraft, then our Transport 20 in the face of the Russian and 124, as well as the United States of America C-52 strategic transport aircraft, there is still a significant gap.